Fixing carriage ride in a Kroger parking lot would naturally raise some questions. It's not every day you see carriages going down 28 or any other road I go down. But, you know, we go everywhere we need to go. It's a royal ride for a four-year-old princess named Ella, who's been fighting cancer for months. Early on during her diagnosis, I had reached out and several of the neighbors and so forth, they had put plans together as far as trying to help with meals. They even had like a cooler on their front porch where people would drop meals and gift cards. While hundreds of people follow Ella's progress online daily, they rallied together to give her her last ride to radiation in style. I don't know if she'll cry or scream. <laughs> a little timid at first, Princess Ella warmed up to her royal chariot, proudly parading through the streets and even meeting her prince with the perfect flower in hand. She's definitely the princess. She runs the show around here. Friends, family and medical staff have been counting down to this day. This is um, a, a chalkboard that I made to be able to count because we ran out of fingers. So after 10, we had to find some way to keep track and um, that way we could just ride on it and made it out of pallet wood. And then I had everyone sign a message to her on the back. They tearfully celebrated this little princess's victory. You know, a lot of people wait a long time to meet their hero, and Ella's our hero. She's amazing. She's so strong. She's so strong. And every morning, She'll wake up and she'll say, okay, where are we going today? What are we doing today? Today's her fairy tale. Yeah. Ella is now back home with her family. They're throwing her a big party. And I mean, come on, what princess does not like a big party? Reporting in Liberty Township, Alexis Rogers, WLWT News 5. See that little cutie in a headband. It's just yeah. hard to see. She's so cute, though. Ella is from Beaver Creek, still has some chemotherapy to get through. She had to miss six weeks of school, but is expected finally to go back tomorrow.